Hi dear students, good morning to you all and welcome back to the GK class. Today in this class I am going to give you the revision for the first midterm test. Okay, totally in this exam you have 10 topics. So today in this session I am going to give you the revision for first 5 topics. Okay, and next week we have one more class for revision. At that class we will see the remaining 5 topics. Okay, so now let's go to the First topic, all of you please take page number 7. Germs are not for sharing. What we have learned in this page, do you remember that? Dirty hands and fingers carry lots of germs that makes us ill. Is it? So, to prevent ourselves from the germs, we should wash our hand often. That is the only way to prevent ourselves from the germs. Is it? So from this exercise we learned when we should wash our hand before or after. Okay. So see here dirty hands and fingers carry lots of dash germs. Is it? Say the spelling germs. G E or M S germs. Okay. That makes us ill. Spell the word ill. I L L L. Okay. And wherever I told you to underline everything you should study. Okay. Don't leave anything. See the next one. We should wash our hand dash we cook. When we should wash our hand before or after we cook. Before we cook we should wash our hand. So it say the spe spelling before. B E F O R E. Before. Okay. See the next one. Dash we play. Before or after we play we should wash our hand. After we play we should wash our hand. Is it say the spelling after. A F T E R. After. Okay. See the next one. Dash we reach home. Before or after. After. Okay. After spelling. A F T E R. After. Okay, then see the next one, fourth one. Dash, we use the toilet. So, after using the toilet, we should wash our hand. Okay. See the next one. Dash, we eat or drink. When we should wash our hands, before eating or after eating. Before eating, we should wash our hand. Is it? So, say the spelling before. B E F O or E. Before. So, before we eat or drink, we should wash our hand. The next one, dash we cough, sneeze or blow our nose. After or before, after we cough, sneeze or blow our nose, we should wash our, wash our hand. Okay, after spelling, A-F-T-E-R, after. See the next one, dash we throw something into the dustbin. After we throw something into the dustbin, we should wash our hand. Okay. See the next one. Dash we pet and take care of animals. After we pet and take care of animals, we should wash our hand. Okay. So, see this box. Wash your hands for 20 seconds. Wash your hands for how many seconds? 20 seconds. Okay. So we have to wash our hands at least 20 seconds. Don't forget that. And when you study, don't leave this box. This is also very important. Okay. Take the next page. Compound words. Do you remember what is compound words? Two or more small words join together to form a new word. This new word has entirely different meaning. For example, cup plus cake, cupcake. So that is compound words. Okay. Then butter plus fly, butterfly, hand plus bag, 
handbag. Wheel plus chair, wheelchair. Rain plus bow, rainbow. Cross plus word, crossword. Sun plus flower, sunflower. Water plus melon, watermelon. Okay. So this is compound words. Compound means compound words means what? Two or more small words joined together to form a new word. That is compound words. Okay. And the next one is palindrome. Do you remember that palindrome? What is palindrome? Palindrome means the words they read the same whether you read backward or forward. For example, see this madam is it so read the spelling m a d a m when you read forward madam backward also madam read the spelling m a d a m is it backward also the same spelling is it so palindrome means the words read the same whether you read backward or forward okay see madam madam level level malayalam malayalam gayak gayak radar radar okay so take the next page symmetry see do you know what is symmetry symmetry means something is symmetrical when it is the same on both sides to see if an object is symmetrical you draw a line of symmetry at the center of an object it shows both side of the shape exactly the same okay this line is called what the line of symmetry it shows the both side of the shape exactly into half okay see here draw a line to divide the letters exactly into half the first one has been done for you the first one is already done for you see the next letter how do you divide the letter exactly into half? We have to draw a line in vertical. Okay. So, after once you draw, you should check both sides. Whether it is equal or not. Okay. If it is not equal, we have to draw horizontal. Okay. So, in this W letter, we have to draw a line at the center vertically. Okay. Then only uh, the both sides will be equal. Okay. Look at the next letter. Here, if you draw a line vertically, the both side will not equal. So it's not both side are not exactly half. So we have to draw a line horizontally. Okay. Then see here the both sides are equal. Is it? Look at the A. Here we have to divide the letters by draw a line vertical. Okay. If you draw a line vert uh, horizontal. The both side not equal is it so here vertical the next one is d is it here horizontal line here also horizontal then look at the x for this x letter we can divide the letters vertical or horizontal however we can divide because vertically or horizontally the both sides are exactly same okay so we can draw the line vertical or horizontal. Okay. So look at this next one. We say that something is symmetrical when one half of it is a mirror image of the other half. Finish the drawing below to get the symmetrical face. Symmetry means we know is it. An object looks the exact same on one side as the other. Is it? What is given in the left side that the same reflect at the right side also is it so what is given in this side right uh, left side that we have to draw at the right side also okay so as you can see in the picture we have to complete the picture okay and one small exercise i was given is it in the last class so complete the picture by drawing the other half of the house so half of the house is given for us so we have to complete the other half of the house okay. 
the next topic is plants around us so what we have learned in this page do you remember first one is what are the different parts the plants have and the second one is what are the things the plants gives us the third one what are the things the plants need to grow and the fourth one is what are the different types of plants is it so the first one what are the different parts the plants have what are they leaves stems root the plants have many parts but in this page only tree is given okay that tree you have to study with the spelling you have to study okay so what is the spelling leaves spell the word leaves l e a v e s leaves okay stems s t e m s stems then roots r o o t s roots okay the next one is what are the different things the plants give us is it what are the things the plants give us wood medicine paper okay so the spelling wood w o o d wood okay the next medicine m e d i c i n e medicine okay paper p a p e r paper okay then see the next one what are the things the plants need to grow okay what are the things the plants need to grow they need soil sunlight and water is it spell the word soil s o i l soil sunlight s u n l i g h t sunlight and water spell the word water w a t e r water okay the next one is the types of plants or what are the different types of plants shrubs herbs trees okay spell the word shrubs s h o u b s shrubs okay the next one is herbs h e r b s herbs okay trees t r e e s trees okay then look at this box why so says we use about 2000 plants for food how many plants we use for food we use about 2000 plants the next one is some plants like the venus flytrap eat insect okay which plant eat insect venus flytrap spell the word venus v e n u s venus flytrap f l y t r a p venus flytrap eat insect okay and the next one a troublesome plant that grows where it is not wanted is called a weed okay spell the word weed w e e d weed do you know what is mean by weed unwanted plants okay that is called a weed so read the spelling weed w e e d weed okay take the next page next one is our earth in this page we have learned rotation and a revolution is it so rotation means what the spinning of the earth on its axis is called rotation is it what is revolution revolution means the movement of the earth around the sun is called revolution so for this rotation the earth takes one day to complete one rotation which means 24 hours is it and because of this rotation we are getting day and night okay then so for this revolution the earth take one year to complete one revolution okay which means 365 days okay because of this revolution we are getting the four seasons okay now look at the next one what do they study draw line to show okay your five pictures are given is it first one is astronomer do you know what is astronomer astronomer means a person who studies about the stars and planet okay the words are little difficult so while i am reading time try to 
uh, say with me okay try to read an astronomer say once again an astronomer astronomer okay the astronomer means the person who studies the stars and planet okay the second one is what an ecologist repeat once again ecologist okay ecologist mean studies the environment a person who studies about the environment okay the second uh, third one is an oceanographer I read once again an oceanographer oceanographer means a person who studies the seas and oceans okay the oceanographer the person who studies the seas and oceans are called oceanographer okay the next one is geologist a geologist mean a person who studies the earth rocks soil etc okay a person who studies the eggs earth rocks soil are called a geologist okay the last one is a meteorologist i read once again meteorologist okay try to say with me meteorologist okay meteorologist means a person who studies the weather okay the person who studies the weather is called meteorologist okay and look at this voice owl says boss aryapata told us that the earth spins on its axis who told the earth spins on its axis aryapata okay so aryapata is the first person who told us that the earth spins on its axis spins on its axis means that is rotation already we studied is it the rotation so aryapata is the first person who told about the rotation okay so the next one is copernicus copernicus told us that the earth travel around the sun the earth travel around the sun means that is revolution is it so who told the first time about the uh, revolution copernicus okay so copernicus told us that the earth travels around the sun the last one galileo galileo was the first person to use the telescope to study the sky you know what is mean by telescope can you see in the first picture okay this is the telescope it is used to see the uh, distance object okay the sky is very far away from us is it so to see the distance object we can use this telescope okay so galileo was the first person to use the telescope to study the sky okay so you have to study all the spellings okay aryapata spell the word aryapata a r y a b h a t a aryapata okay spins s p i n s spins axis a x i s axis okay the copernicus c o p r copper n i c u s nicus copernicus okay then travel t r a v e l s travels sun s u n sun then galileo g a l i l e o galileo once again g a l i l e o galileo is the first person to use the telescope telescope spelling t e l e s c o p e telescope okay so that's all today so in this revision days don't waste your time please study sincerely and write the exams well okay we will see you in the next class bye